China has confirmed rumors that its Diangong-1 space station is out of control and will crash back to Earth in 2017. A senior official with the country's crewed space program confirmed the news at a recent press conference, reports Xinhua. The Diangong-1 space station module was launched in 2011 and was expected to be deorbited at the end of its life to crash into the ocean or burn up in the atmosphere. Chinese officials have now confirmed that it will head towards Earth in the latter half of 2017 but no one knows where the debris will land. Returning a spacecraft to Earth is tricky business, mostly due to the intense heat produced if the re-entry is uncontrolled. Based on our calculation and analysis, most parts of the space lab will burn up during falling, said Wu Ping, deputy director of the Manned Space Engineering Office, reports Xinhua. The Chinese space agency will continue to monitor Tiangong-1 and has vowed to issue warnings if there are any potential collisions imminent. The news confirms earlier reports from satellite trackers who have been watching the movement of Tiangong as it orbits the Earth. They suggested that China may have lost control of the unmanned Aton vehicle, a theory that has now been confirmed. Thomas Dorman, an amateur satellite tracker, told Space.com, If I am right, China will wait until the last minute to let the world know it has a problem with their space station. It could be a real bad day if pieces of this came down in a populated area, but odds are it will land in the ocean or in an unpopulated area. The news comes days after China launched its second space station, Tiangong-2, on a long March 7 rocket from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center on the edge of the Gobi Desert in northern China. Two astronauts are scheduled to launch to the new space station on the Shenzhou-11 spacecraft in October and are due to remain on board for a month. The orbiting lab is considered to be a stepping stone in a mission to Mars by the end of the decade. Tiangong-1, which means Heavenly Palace, was was launched in September 2011 with the hope of creating a larger space complex that China wants to be operational in Earth orbit around 2020. The module has performed a series of docking exercises, including the uncrewed Shenzhou 8 mission in 2011 and the crewed Shenzhou 10 mission in 2012. According to the China Manned Space Engineering Office, Tiangong-1 also contains Earth observation instrumentation and space environment detectors. In a statement in 2014, Officials from CMSE said Tiangong-1 has obtained a great deal of application and science data which is valuable in mineral resources investigation, ocean and forest application, hydrologic and ecological environment monitoring, land use, urban thermal environment monitoring and emergency disaster control. While Tiangong-1 has collected huge amounts of data, earlier this year, state-run news agencies in China reported that the CMSE had terminated Tiangong-1's data gathering activities. Additionally, CMSE officials explain that the telemetry connection to the space lab had failed which suggests that the vehicle will make an uncontrolled re-entry to Earth in the future. However, other experts have reassured that such speculation does not mean that Diangong-1 is definitely out of control. Dr. Thomas Kelso, a senior research astrodynamicist at the Center for Space Standards and Innovation, has plotted the altitude of the space station throughout its time in orbit and says that it was reboosted relatively recently. While Dr. Kelso does not have a way to measure the space station's stability, he told Space.com, we might expect to see the rate of decrease in altitude, the slope between reboosts, increase if it was tumbling, since the station would have higher drag. Instead, we see the slowest decrease in altitude in recent years, consistent with the lower drag at a higher altitude. This would suggest that Diangong-1 is dormant but stable. Dr. Kelso added, that might be why the Chinese aren't responding. They probably don't understand why they would need to.